Point of order, Mr. Jeremy Corbyn. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, tonight this House has once again definitely ruled out no deal. The Prime Minister said the choice was between her deal and no deal. In the last 24 hours, Parliament has decisively rejected both her deal and no deal. While an extension of Article 50 is now inevitable, the responsibility of that extension lies solely and squarely at the Prime Minister's door. But, Mr Speaker, extending Article 50 without a clear objective is not a solution. Parliament must now take control of the situation. In the days that follow, Mr Speaker, myself, the Shadow Brexit Secretary and others will have meetings with members across the House to find a compromise solution that can command support in the House. This means, Mr Speaker, doing what the Prime Minister failed to do two years ago in searching, in searching for a consensus on the way forward. Labour has set out a credible alternative plan. Honourable members, Honourable members across this House are coming forward with proposals, whether that is for a permanent customs union, a public vote, Norway Plus, or other ideas. Let us, as a House of Commons, work now to find a solution to deal with the crisis facing this country and the deep concerns that many people have for their livelihood, for their lives, their future, their jobs, their communities and their factories. It's up to us, as the House of Commons, to look for and find a solution to their concerns. That is what we were elected to do. Yeah.